perfect pocket logo placement. Sounds daunting, right? Well, with the right technique, it's not too hard to achieve perfect placement every garment, every size, every time. It's Devon here with All American Print Supply, and today's video comes with a special request for our RIP software upgrade. For all my Cathari Neo RIP users, how do you get that perfect pocket logo placement? Stay tuned to find out. Now before we get to printing, let's get this garment nice and pre-treated. Now today we're working with the Mr. T2 from Ecofreen. We've got our machine powered on, and we've selected the round trip option, meaning the machine's gonna apply two passes of pre-treat spray. We've also selected the right nozzle only, since we don't need pre-treat on the left side, and I'm really isolating my pre-treat spray to my print area. It's not a full 16 by 20, so there's no need to use pre-treat or not actually printing, just here in the pocket logo section. Now, let's go ahead and open our drawer. Now we're gonna place the garment onto the platen. I'm gonna hang my collar off the edge here, and I'm taking the sleeves and all the excess material and tucking it underneath the drawer. Let's go ahead and load it into the machine and give it a spray. Now we got our pre-treat dry, we can let this air dry. If you give it 30 seconds of your heat press at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, medium pressure, it'll be ready for the printer. Loading the garment properly onto the platen will make all the following steps really easy to understand for perfect pocket logo placement. First thing we're gonna do is thread the garment onto the platen of the printer, and we're gonna bring the neckline all the way to the top of the platen right here. Next, using the stitchings on both sleeves, we're gonna make sure they're equal distance on both sides of the platen to make sure it's nice and centered. After we've loaded the garment with the collar at the top of the platen and both sleeves nice and even, let's lock it into place with the hoop. Now for reference, on this men's size large garment, the edge of the collar is gonna be approximately four and a half inches from the edge of this platen. All right, so let's get everything set up in our Cathari Neo Europe software. First, we're gonna go ahead and open a new environment. Let's go down to production level, black media. Let's bring in our design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this pocket logo here. Now we're gonna be going off of a four inch width for good ratio on the garment. And this is where we're gonna position. Now, for our horizontal or X axis, let's go ahead and adjust this to an 8.5. And now for our vertical axis, let's go ahead and tweak this to a 3.25. Now, based on how we loaded our garment onto the direct -to garment printer, this should give us perfect center position for a nice even pocket logo. Just head on over to here and hit our print. Now, what if your pocket logo is not as skinny and you have a taller image you're gonna be printing on that left chest? Well, let's bring this in for example. Again, we're gonna size this out. Four inches is usually a really good size ratio for a pocket logo print. And we're still gonna maintain that X or horizontal access at an 8.5. But this one, because of the size, it actually can land a little lower on the garment itself. So let's go ahead and position this on the Y or vertical access to 2.5. There we have it. This should give us a nice position. Let's go ahead and print this one too. Disclaimer, all of these instructions have been based off of a four inch pocket logo wide graphic on a men's size large garment. So just a brief explanation on how the Cathari grid works. As we can see here, the zero coordinates on the X and Y will place the image on the upper left hand corner. The shorter the pocket logo size can give us a higher pocket logo placement, which would actually equate to a lower vertical value. So we'll enter this here. The taller the pocket logo design can actually give us a lower pocket logo placement and that would result in a higher vertical value. Smaller garments may see a decrease in the horizontal and vertical positionings and larger garments may see an increase in these values. Now bear in mind, all of these settings are gonna be a general point of reference as a baseline and you should always perform testing to achieve your exact desired print location. What tips have you learned for perfect placement in your RIP software? Comment your tips down below. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and drop a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more helpful content. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one. My name is Esteban, we're All Mega Print Supply. We'll see you in the next one.